for those of you who follow my camping videos. I've not done a recent one with our changes to our Jayco 26BH. Um, this is a 2016, I believe. No, it's a 2017. We bought it in 16. Um, we made a lot of changes if you've watched my other videos, so I'm going to try and do the quick version in case you're looking for some um, other suggestions to have the camper be more usable for us. And you know, um, I'm normal height, normal weight, so is my husband. And the way that the camper was originally, we couldn't function um, very well as a family of four. And I think I'm a glamper. So, one of the first things we did was the queen size bed is gone. That is a king size bed. And my husband removed the storage under here so we can now get to that from the inside instead of lifting up the bed. That's my clothing there and our shoes, cases of water, little heater under there. And we still do have that pass through um, underneath going from side to side on the outside of the camper. So as far as this, this is a household size king bed. You'll notice that this used to have a couch here. The couch is gone. Uh, that would not work for us with the couch still being there. So my husband did chop off that lower part of the cabinet. It used to be long like this side, totally chopped it off. The pink color doesn't match perfectly, um, but we were able to get our residential king inside our camper, which is perfect for us because we normally have little guys who join us right now and the dog. We have our trash can. Typically I do put the trash can over here our dinette is gone. So with what we've chosen to do, we do not have a dinette. Um, originally we used to have like a buffet over here. That's why it's not painted. We have some winter projects to do, um, but the couch still does fold down. You're going to notice that you have the wheel well under there. Typically I keep cases of water. That's our dirty laundry basket, uh, snacks under here, whatever you would need can fit underneath this because we did not put on the front panel back on the couch and it does fold down like it used to fold down over here. So um, everything was really easy for my husband to take out. Now he is handy, okay? Including the half wall that used to be here. If you have this model, there's a half wall that was right here. And this is the original floor. So you'll notice like there, right there's a screw hole. Right there's two screw holes. So if you look close enough, you can see um, where things originally were. Now, my husband does have a degree in HVAC, but he was able to, this is our boys closet in here. I should probably paint the shelf, but this used to be underneath the couch and he was able to get it so that we could now have it uh, right here for us. We had some extra cabinets from our kitchen that we brought out here. so we actually brought out these three and then we even have a secret doggy bowl for our dog that we can push in and out so this was the original kitchen cabinets right here we painted them white a long 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 time ago probably initially we kept our uppers dark um, i have a lot of baskets i get those on amazon and i put all of our fresh vegetables in it, fruits in it when we're traveling um, for up to two to three weeks. I like to take what I can with us from my home grocery stores. So I put everything up in those. K-cups come over here, have some other things here. And then when we travel, I'm able to put all of this in the sink or under the kitchen cabinet right there. Um, Josh did install, this is from Amazon, this is peel and stick along with some cabinet shelves up here. And then this is also a big, big change. You'll notice we do not have a bathroom door. Um, when our boys were younger, here's their bunk beds. We do have, that's actually some type of wood from either Lowe's or Home Depot um, that was installed to give like a faux wood headboard look. Um, you'll notice curtains are all down. We have up actual like household curtains. So it's still a short window, but we have up a household curtain. Uh, the bathroom door is gone, which might scare you. It did not scare us because what was happening is when that door was shut, 
there was very minimal air circulation. So there's a vent right here in our camper. And then at night we would shut that door to not block off the boy's bed because it would open up this way. And we were getting no air circulation, like it was dreadful. So we ended up taking out their factory curtain rod. See the holes up there. We have our own curtain rod, just a tension rod. I have one going across. This is where we hang our towels. And I also have one in the back so we can hang up washcloths or bathing suits if we needed to. Extra toilet paper. That's just up by command hooks. Three command hooks. Two at the top, one at the bottom. Um, I chose to install a rod over here too by the door. Um, so this really has two curtains. I don't know if you would need that, but we have like the door curtain right here. And then we also have an extra one if you want a double privacy. Um, but really I only have that up because these are command hooks and that's what I keep my brooms on um, and swifters. So it's nice and hidden back here. So the door is this right here. Now I, I know you're looking at my curtain. Um, and that's also a shorter um, drapery. So if you pull this across, then it'll go the whole length down to the floor. And then we also found nothing really is done in the sink besides a uh, little shelf. You'll find that we put up like a dressing room curtain also. So I'm in the bathroom right now, pretty far. And you can see the toilet. So you have like one, two, three layers of protection. Um, if you do take off your bathroom door like we did, you can see right where the hinges were and what opened. Ladders attached permanently. Um, I mean, we can take it off, but it's here attached. This is an old bunk bed ladder. So that stays. And we found the mattresses back here did not be so hot. So we ended up combining, this is two mattresses up here. These are the two factory mattresses. We put those on the top and then on Amazon, I just got a foam mattress and then we cut this to size. I could round it out here. We just decided that we didn't really have a need for that. Uh, we also removed, there was like a curved piece along here of wood that you couldn't get back into this. You had to get to it from the outside. We removed that also um, fairly, fairly easily. Let me see if I can find, yep, right there's a screw hole. Um, there's probably one more over there somewhere. Don't look at my dirt. Um, so yeah, these are the changes to our camper that I can think of right now that helped us live in it for up to two to three weeks um, at a time and be comfortable in here. And we are okay not having a kitchen table in our camper. I um, mean, that's fine with us. So I think that this works for us. Um, flow wise, we can get in and out. We have a big space here. Um, I only have these cubes because I push them up against the bed for our dog to get in and out. So thanks for watching, bye.